Good day. Today I'm starting my electrical board of education. Uh, my videos on electrical have been getting quite a bit of traction, so I thought, you know what, let's just do it right and actually do a spread and layout and do some videos of different things that the homeowner uh, might come across. So with that, please in the comments, if you have any suggestions for what else you'd like to do, this is going to be a regular switch. I'm going to throw a switch leg off it, maybe something with a three-way over here. Uh, but I got lots of room. So you guys tell me, well, what would you like to see? What do you need help with? Um, what would be helpful for you? I'd be more than happy to help the average homeowner out to understand some of this stuff. So with that, let's dive into the Electrical Board of Education. I almost need like a special oh, Board of Education. Okay. So to start off, what I did was I just wired a extension cord into the bottom. So that way I can plug the whole thing in after or whatnot to test it to show. Uh, so we're going to do a plug here. So power is going to come in. And then what we're going to do is power, we're going to run from that. We want a light with a switch in the middle. So we're just going to run straight shot up to a switch. And then from there up to a light. This is to conductor 14 and that is to conductor 14 as well. That is less than that, and uh, it doesn't matter because it's just for this example, but don't do that in real life. Use a really tiny extension cord. Um, so yeah, with that, let's, I'll just bring this in a bit so we can see what we're doing here. So I, what I did with the power here, because I know that I'm going to be putting other ones here to just bring the power over as we do other things. So I created pigtails. So let me bring it in just to make sure everyone can see that. So what I did, let me see here. So what I did was all of my whites, grounds and blacks, tied them all together along with an extra piece of wire. Marret them all together. So you just have the one sticking out. That's what a pigtail is. So instead of trying to get a whole bunch of them underneath the, uh, the back of a receptacle, which you can't do, you can't do more than two, so therefore do a pigtail and now I just got the one. So when I add in more, I'll just add them to the, to the pigtails. Grounds, whenever you have a metal box, always run your ground, bond it to the back, hit that screw. Hot, very important. Okay. So I pre-stripped the wires to help speed it up a little bit as well. So for this, easy enough, power comes in, hot, neutral ground. We're just putting them all together because we want to bring it to here and we want to keep it going. So power is here, power leaves here. Power on all the time. This will have power on all the time. So let's just... Part of my number six, there we go. One thing is when you're making these holes in the top, the little dead pieces that come out, hang on to them because when you put your receptacle or your switch in, when you're doing your final fit, they work good as a, as a washer. If all of a sudden your box is out just a hair, put a couple of them there, one or two, and then that'll put it behind your switch or receptacle to help uh, plumb it out. Just thought I'd point that out. So, just do a quick curl of the wires here. As always with receptacles, always put them under the screw. Never, never use the, the pins in the back. The connection isn't always great. You can't take them. There's no changing it. If you want to change something, then all of a sudden you have to cut it. Now you have a little piece out the back. It's just, I don't trust it. I've seen it too many times where, where it doesn't stick and make good enough connection. Also make sure all four screws come out when you get a new plug, new receptacle, screw in the ones that you're not using. Very important. So now white's gonna be on that side, black's on this side. <clears throat> your long prong is your neutral. Your shorter one is your hot. Same as if you look at the coloring, you can see the shiny side here, that's your hot. 
put it on always go clockwise so it tightens as you tighten it up it doesn't loosen on you it actually tightens on it come on baby there we go sometimes they fight back but we always win all right I'm not going to push these in because it's simple enough to just push it in, tuck it all in, push your morettes in at the back first, but I'll leave them out like this just to show so you can see what happened there. So there, power in, power goes up, pigtails out to here. So this has steady power, that has steady power. Now we're at our switch. Grounds, grab the back of the box, tie them together, throw a morette on it. realized short of a ret so you push that in now for our switch let me just quickly grab another moret because we're going to need it grab a 31 31 is good for or I'll show you real quick since I have them out as a reference that is a 31 good for a couple I wouldn't put three 14s under there, but I'd put two. There's a 33, which I'd do three. There's a 35 for four to about six, maybe five or six, and then you can get higher from there. So we're just doing two here, so a 31 is good. So what we wanna do is power is coming up. This is our full-time power. We want it switched before it goes up there. So what we're gonna do is power comes up, we're gonna switch it as it goes from hot to hot. Therefore, our neutral, we just wanna carry it through the box. We don't have to tie it to anything. There's no spot for it on the switch. So the neutral just carries through. So let's do that. So we... Neutral there. So all we did was tie it to go through. And now we're gonna put the switch on our black wires. clockwise doesn't matter which one you put it on okay now up here we have our ground let me just grab the keyless that I had here here we go. So here's our key list that we're putting on. So as you can see, there's no spot for a ground. It's porcelain. There's nothing to ground. So the ground just stays in there. If you have a fancy light or if you have a fan or if you, this is like the most basic simplistic type of fixture. Most will have somewhere to put a ground. If so, put that on it. In this case, there isn't one. So now we got our hot and our neutral. So let's open up a couple of screws here. There we go, they're pre-stripped. Make our hooks. Again, clockwise.
And there we go. So, real quick recap. Power comes in, splices to the power in neutral. Constant power comes into your receptacle and keeps going. So we have constant power here. Come up, neutral, follow it through to get to the light. But we've got to switch something, so we switch our hot. So now this is a switched hot, and that's what we'll switch. Okay, so we got it. All I did was uh, tighten all the devices in. Didn't change anything. So on our board, that's what we have. It's plugged in. A couple things I will mention is when you're screwing in a porcelain base like this, they will crack. Uh, just make them snug. Don't over tighten or they will crack. So there we go. Typical power to a switch switch to the light configuration. If you enjoyed it or it helped you at all, throw me a subscribe and also more importantly, throw me some comments. What do you want to see here? What can we fill this up with? What other uh, issues or what would be helpful to you? Let me know. Hope that helped.